Neighbors of a fire damaged apartment complex in Alloway said today they want to know when something will be done with their building. So far, it's been nothing. Just more than a month ago, fire destroyed Hilltop Apartments in Alloway. It displaced more than 100 people and caused more than $3 million in damage. Fox 11's Beth Jones is back on the scene this evening in Alloway. And Beth, what can you tell us? Now, as you can see, this pretty much looks like what it did back in May, and it's still unclear when the cleanup process will begin. I spoke to some neighbors this afternoon, and they told me they just want some answers. It's an eyesore. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a lot of people driving through here uh, looking at this. Mike Moore lives right next to the former Hilltop Place apartment complex. He says the fire was no doubt a tragedy, but Moore says he's ready for something to get done. The problem is it's still standing. It does have an odor to it, and especially when it rains, you can smell the smoke yet. And as you can see, they're not maintaining the property outside the security area. Right now, a fence blocks anyone from entering the property. Security is also there 24-7 to keep an eye on the charred remnants. We're providing security around the property to protect not only the uh, people from the dangers of the leftover fire scene, but we're also protecting the property that's left behind the fire. Uh, such as uh, personal property that can be salvaged. Officials with National Security Investigation say they were subcontracted by another security company that was hired by the property owner's insurance company. However, they say they do not know when cleanup will start. We have not been given an official timeline. However, the salvaging process can be very slow and cumbersome. The property management company for the apartment complex did not return our phone calls for comment. Fire investigators were unable to determine what caused the blaze. Now a relief fund has been set up at North Shore Bank to help those displaced by the fire. Organizers told me more than $26,000 in donations have come in. And those funds are expected to be distributed to the victims next Thursday. Live in Alloway, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.